you're still hungry. Uh-huh, for you. I hope you're a good source of protein. I need a balanced diet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm full of carbohydrates. Well, then, to hell with my diet. Jason, I'm still a little calm. I'm so a little uncomfortable with this, you know? I, everybody's seen those pictures, and you're kissing me out here in the open, you know? I, you know, what are they gonna think? And, and you're afraid they're gonna think that you're one of those girls, huh? I still hear people talking about me. Karen, you've come this far. You can't let it get to you now. I'm trying not to, okay? Well, you'll make it. Well, if I do, it's because of you, so thank you. Well, it's only gonna get easier. Uh. Look, I, I, I have to uh, get to class, but just let me... Well, see there, nobody saw us. That should hold us for the next couple hours. Okay, I'll see you later. All right, come on. Boy, that was an interesting little spectacle. I have a class, I don't have time to talk to you. Oh, but you have time to string Jason along, don't you? I'm not stringing Jason along, it's none of your business, all right? I like being with him. Not the way you like being with Jagger, though, right, Karen? How long are you going to keep up this facade? Brenda, this is none of your business. When are you going to tell Jason that you just like him for a friend and that Jagger's the one you really want to be with? You still want him. Don't you think you owe Jason the truth? You just want it all, don't you? I mean, you want Jagger all to yourself? But you don't want to give up Jason and all the little advantages that come along with going out with a quarter man. You don't know how I feel about Jagger. It's so obvious. The way you used to look at him when you thought nobody was watching. The way you treat me when I was going out. The, the way you're acting now, Karen, and Jagger's gone. Your imagination is so out of control, Brenda. You don't know anything. Oh, really? I know that you two got awfully close during your little snowstorm. You know how I know? Because he broke up with me when you guys got back. You know, that's when you took those pictures of me, isn't it? And, and put copies of them in everybody's locker. You just had to get back at me, didn't you, Brenda? How many times do I have to tell you I didn't have anything to do with Why those pictures? Why am I supposed to believe you? You know what? This isn't even the point. The point is that Jagger and I are not together anymore because of you. Maybe he just got sick of you, Brenda. Maybe he got sick of your snide remarks and your let's party attitude. Do you ever consider that possibility? Jagger and I were fine until you interfered, Karen. You don't know that. Oh, really? I know about the letter he wrote you. Anyone who read that letter could tell that you had more than the average run-of-the-mill little friendship, didn't you? Yes, we were close, okay? Oh, you were close. Wonder what Jason would think if he read that letter, hmm? I wonder what he would think about you two being close. Fine, tell him. I don't care. Go ahead. I think I will. Go on, tell him. I have nothing to hide. Yeah, I got something to hide, huh? <laughs> well, it's not like you came here with references. Oh, I thought you had uh, basketball Yeah, I do, but I need to talk to you. Okay, well, I'll meet you at Kelly's later. I, and no, I no, no, I, I can't wait that long. Karen, we are going to be the king and queen of the Valentine's Day dance. Can you believe this? Right, and I'm going to find a cure for cancer in chemistry lab. What do you really want to say? No, that's it. I swear, that's the truth. But we have to vote on it, and uh, there's been no nominations. Right, and they'll be out today. You see, our class officers nominated three couples, including us. Well, that's really something, but we still have to vote. Uh, uh, no, if you see, one couple is splitting up. They're not even going to the dance. The nominating committee didn't, doesn't even know us. The second couple is dropping out because the guy owes me a favor for getting him on varsity. Karen, it's a done deal. We're in. Now that Charles and Di have thrown him in town, we're the new royalty, babe. Wow, that's... I can't believe that. My, my mom is going to freak. I'd, I'd like to be there when you tell her. Um, I don't know, Jason. What? What don't you know? Everybody is going to be watching us because we have to stand up in front of everybody, right? And they're all going to laugh because they're all going to think it's a big joke. Uh, Karen, our class officers don't want to turn their dance into a joke. Okay, they nominated us because we th they thought they we deserved it. They thought that you deserved it, Jason. They don't know me, except for those pictures. And they know someone was out to hurt you. And they know you showed courage and rose above it. I don't have anything to wear. Well, you can, you can just wear your crown and nothing else. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Uh, Karen... We're in this for the long haul, aren't we? Karen? Okay.
Aaron, is, is there something you're not telling me? Ah, oh, shoot, I'm late. Okay, look, I'll meet you at Kelly's, okay? We'll talk about this. Everything will work out. Trust me. All right. Tommy, um, just about ready to take a break. Oh, well, it's okay. I can sit by myself. I don't... No, I don't want you to sit by yourself. <laughs> you need the company, too, huh? No, I'm fine. I don't know, honey. You've been moping around a lot lately. I told you I am fine. Hey, where's Jagger? I got an order. I'm starving. Um, Jagger's not here anymore. Um, I'll take your order. Okay. What do you mean he's not here? He left town. Oh. Well, well do you miss him? Well, yeah, we were close. How close? Take a look at your menu. Okay? Oh, no. What? What are you looking at me like that for? I can't believe this. What are you talking about? You got... You fell in love with Jacker. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. It is written all over your face. I can't believe this. You got hung up in Jagger, okay? He left town, and that's why you've been depressed. I'm so stupid. I didn't see any of this. No, I'm the one who's stupid for getting myself into this mess. Honey, you should have stayed away from him. No, I shouldn't have, Mom. I, I like him a lot. What I should have done is just admit it a long time ago. And I didn't, and now things are complicated, you know? What, what, with Jason? With everybody. Well, honey, when did this all come out? Well, he took me up to college, and when we got stuck in the snow, we just realized how much we really meant to each other, and we got a chance to spend some time together, and we just really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, and then he left town, right? Yeah, he did. Listen, Jagger is a great-looking guy. I don't blame you for being attracted to him, but I kept on trying to tell you, you've got to be careful with guys like that. They never stick around. I know, I know. I've heard you say it before. Honey, I didn't want you to make the same mistakes I had. I didn't want your feelings to be hurt. Now I'm thinking that, um, maybe I should be honest and tell Jason, too. You'd be a fool to do that. Why? You you figured out how I felt. So did Ruby and this other girl at school, too. I mean, I obviously can't hide my feelings very well. Maybe Jason's going to figure out, too. No, because he really doesn't want to. Well, I think I, may, I maybe should be honest with him. Oh, honesty has nothing to do with this, honey. You had feelings for Jagger. Nothing came about. He left town, and now it is over. Yeah, I guess it is. Why should you sacrifice Jason? Why should you spoil a perfectly good relationship? You still like Jason, don't you? Not the same. Yeah, well, so what? So what if it's not the same, okay? You can still take advantage of what he has to offer. Now, now Jason still likes you, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Listen, there is no reason in the world why Jason should know anything about this. No reason at all. Here he comes. Hey! Hi! Ah, hello, ladies. How Mind if you? I join you? Not at all. We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah. Then, then, uh, you told her the good news. No. Oh, uh, oh, I forgot about it. I haven't gotten What? Too. What is it? Uh, should I? Yeah. Well, Rhonda, it looks like Karen and I are going to be crowned king and queen of the Valentine's Day dance. Oh, that is great. That's terrific. Yeah. You see, I told you, too, you were always meant to be together. 